Moving forward into the forward cockpit up here, you've got a nice L-shaped seat here, which is great because it sets kind of a social setting. Um, you can fit several people up here. It's got a backrest, so you can actually lay out. And what I mean by layout, it's uh, the versatility of the seat. This actually lifts up and folds flat. So you can actually lay down uh, in this seat here uh, while you're cruising. On top of that, the backrest also lifts up and slides backwards so you can make a trolling seat here so you can fit two people sitting backwards watching the fishing lines while you're out on the boat. And on top of that, coming around, you've got a huge cooler that is underneath the seat here. So when you're doing uh, weekend trips or just a day out on the water, you want a place you can keep your drinks for easy access, you've got this huge insulated storage box which drains overboard. Moving forward here, you can see you've got a optional stainless steel windshield, which is a perfect height. Um, and it's a huge upgrade from what most of our competitors offer in this style of boat. On the helm, you've got a custom designed helm with gray gel coat, which helps reduce the glare of the sun. Aluminum instrument panels, you've got room for 12, two 12 inch screens. You notice the Yamaha controls on the side here. Underneath the Yamaha controls, we have actually an air conditioned vent. So while you're driving, there's cold air that actually blows on the captain and the crew while you're out on the water. Molded footrest, which is unique, as well as a quick little storage compartment here for personal items. You've got a blue water bolster seat here with nice big armrest here in the captain's seat that actually flips up when you want to stand up, flips down. And notice you've got cup holders everywhere in this boat. You've got two cup holders on the side here for the captain. You've got four cup holders on the other side for your crew, as well as cup holders in the back. The top on this boat is a custom design top by Rabalo. It's a fiberglass design. It's got LED lights. It's got a integrated lockable life jacket storage here in the top, which is great because you buy a 30 foot boat and most manufacturers have the ugly net that hangs down over your head. Rivalo designed this compartment to where you can store your life jackets and safety gear, close the compartment, and you end up with a completely finished off fiberglass storage compartment here in the top. Moving into the cabin, Rubalo has a sliding yacht quality door going into the cabin. Most manufacturers use a bifold door which will rattle back and forth and pinch your fingers and has the third piece that opens up that blocks your vision. Rubalo's got a one piece door that you can slide with one hand. And one of the nice things about this sliding door is that it's got a built in screen that opens up so you can actually uh, do weekend trips when the weather is nice and get some natural air from the outside. Moving into the cabin of the R305 Rabal, this has the most spacious cabin out of any 30 footer in the industry. Uh, it's got a lot of headroom. You've got a uh, fiberglass headliner on this boat, which uh, helps stay uh, clean and mold free. You've got stainless steel port lights on the sides here. So you've got three port lights inside the cockpit. You've got one inside the head, as well as a huge uh, hatch here up on the top, which actually serves several different features. You can pull this over and you've got a screened in hatch here now. And if you want privacy, you pull this side and all of a sudden you've got privacy from outside or it opens up for fresh air. Up here in the front, you've got a U-shaped seating area, which gives you a lot of headroom, a lot of space. You can sit here and actually eat, entertain. Uh, and then when you want to sleep, this table, which is a high gloss teak table, by the way, actually goes down on a hydraulic and uh, there's a filler piece that goes on top and makes a V-berth bed. And one thing unique about this boat is that both the backrest on this boat actually pull out to bunk beds. So this is one of the only 30 footers 
you can actually see six people. Nice big uh, bunk here. Uh, you can sleep, um, you know, one person on this side and one person on the other side. The one thing about Rabal is all your materials are top of the line. All your fabrics are all umbrella. You got ultra leather fabrics here on the bottom. A high gloss teak table. The R305 has a nice large galley over here. And uh, what's unique about the galley is that it's got real solid surface countertops on the boat. On top of that, you have stainless appliances, including a stainless steel refrigerator and a stainless steel microwave. It's got a lot of storage. You've got storage down here, storage inside here, um, as well as storage on the side. You've got a nice pull-out stainless steel sink. Nice pull-out stainless steel sink, as well as a sink down here. On the side here, you can pull out this compartment, and you've got a built-in trash receptacle here, so you can use this as a garbage can, as well as storage on the side. Notice the, uh, the plugs here, so you can plug in your, uh, your personal items, as well as a flat-screen TV. So when you're sitting up in the V-berth or laying down, you can actually watch movies in here. It's got a uh, standard DVD player that comes with the TV when you order it. And uh, looking back here towards the aft, you can see the size of the aft cabin. It's got one of the largest aft cabins out of any 30-foot boat. It's got privacy curtains that pull out from the side. And you can comfortably, very comfortably, sleep two people in the back of the aft cabin. And it does have a window back here, so you do get some, um, some natural light and some ventilation if you do want to do a uh, weekend trip and use the screens. Moving over to the head, notice the maple cabinetry on the door. Most of your competitors are going to have a plastic door as well as plastic handles. Notice this is all stainless steel. Moving into the head, you can see uh, how well designed this head compartment is. It's got a lot of headroom. It's got a fiberglass headliner. Notice the curtains and the blinds too so you can get privacy when you're um, staying at the marina or you're out on the water. Uh, all your countertops inside the, the bathroom are solid surface. The sink is stainless steel. It pulls out to a shower. The vacuum flush head is standard on this boat so uh, no porta potty no marine head. Uh, this is the uh, top of the line setup. And you do have a port light window, which is unique in this boat too, as well as a lot of storage and a mirror um, for shaving or kind of whatever you want to use it for. And that includes our uh, walkthrough of some of the new 2011 Rabalos here at the 2011 Palm Beach International Boat Show. Uh, for more information, you can log on to www.raballo.com where you can uh, go online and access uh, videos, pictures of the boats, we have a dealer locator and you can build your own boat on the internet um, and see all the different features on the, on the Raballo. And I want to thank you guys again for uh, watching and uh, remember with Raballo, go beyond the horizon.